you would open custom sound ep in custom sound ep you will go into training mode right now but then when you are actually doing it on a patient you would not use the training mode you say login after you log in this is the first screen that would come up you would have to select the first session that is you have you will for the new patient you will have to create a new patient you will have to punch in details of the new patients so the name first name last name is very critical the date of birth is also very important that you need to put in the other thing that is really important for us to add is the implant details when you add the implant details in that you would have to see on the box that it is a freedom implant straight and you will have to tick on the date of the surgery it's important that you plug in the serial number of the implant and the year of stimulation see okay once you have filled in the general information and the implant details you are ready to do the testing you will see the name of the patient available in your list you say select and say intraoperative testing when you are in the training mode it would ask us the processor that we are connecting once you are uh, actually connected the hardware it would not ask those details this is a confirmation message that it is telling you that you have placed the implant uh, you have placed the coil on the implant which is freedom implant you say yes this is the first thing on the lower bar here you can see that the pod is connected your processor is connected and your implant is connected if there is any problem in the hardware connection it will be visible on this screen the first thing that you do is the impedance measurement you will measure all your impedances you should ideally be seeing all impedances below 10 kilo ohms after you've done that the next step that you need to do is measure auto nrt you will see measure auto nrt you are doing it on all channels the starting level is 170 all you need to do is press start this is the first message that it is coming it's talking about electrode conditioning it will tell me that you are going to stimulate at a very very high current level you need to see yes here you would see your n1 and p1 graph there you can see a response and below it will show you at what level is the nrt observed it will continue to do that for all 22 channels so here this is the basal electrode electrode number 1 electrode number 22 is your apical most electrode you will have to wait for all of them to be finished and when you stop here but you will have to wait for all of them to be done after you said that you will have to save your nrt profile and say it's intra save and we are done with the auto nrt session